Well, the band Jethro Tull has been playing through seven decades now, and they're celebrating with a tour, making a stop right here in Cincinnati. I was able to talk to the lead singer, Ian Anderson, earlier this week about his career and what fans can expect. Well, seven decades, that is how long the band Jethro Tull has been performing, and to celebrate, they are making a stop in the Queen City. Joining me now is the man who has been with this band through all the years, the lead singer Ian Anderson. Ian, thank you for joining us this morning from across the pond. We appreciate your time. Well, and what a big pond it is. It's uh, an eight hour journey across the big pond that I have to do 48 hours from now to uh, come to Chicago to start the uh, the first U.S. tour since 2019 and all of the COVID uh, things that went on in between. So that's our first time back in the in the USA for a while. Wow. I'm sure you have a very busy schedule to come. So to start, looking back at your first album, This Was, to your more recently released album, Rock Flute, how have you, Ian, seen the music industry change over time? We've all got a lot older and perhaps a little wiser because the uh, the heady days of the 70s when it seemed no one could do any wrong, if you're a record company president, uh, president uh, the, 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 the coinage of the realm just fell into your pockets. Um, it was, uh, it was, a, it was a, a glorious and very energetic period of time. But, of course, these days the world has changed. And for record companies to make uh, even, even a, a, a dishonest buck is, is really much harder than it ever was before. Um, clearly, physical product is continuing to drop away and people tend to stream music, which makes no money for the record companies or the artists, relatively speaking. A few, a few very small coins. But, um, you know, it's a tough, tough time. But, you know, in the live music industry, is, uh, apart from, apart from a, a couple of years that um, it's sunk without trace because of COVID, but uh, these days everybody is back on the road. Everybody is playing in the same venues. It takes really quite a lot of time to try and put a, a, a tour together simply because everything is so booked up. But yeah, we're we're back on back on the back on a roll again, and uh, it's nice to see that uh, the music industry is, at least in the live context, is in in good uh, physical bodily health. And we have seen a number of artists throughout the years call you and Jethro Tull an inspiration. What has that meant to you to have other artists and musicians saying that you inspire you them? It's, um, it doesn't mean anything at all because I actually really don't know who those artists are. I mean, maybe one or two come to mind, but I think the, um, you know, the, I, I have to look, I have to look at my own situation. You know, when I was a young person starting off in music, I, I had a number of, uh, of influences from the world of big band jazz to blues and more contemporary jazz and indeed into, into the early days of rock music. But, you know, I, I have had lots and lots of, of influences that, that you know add up to a lot of lot of tiny influences, little nuances in the way that I I do things. So I I don't have one or two influences. I have a hundred. I I imagine it must be the same for other people. So if they say that Jethro Tull is amongst their influences. We're probably <laughs> probably one percent of the total. So I mean, being realistic, yes, it's nice to know that maybe something you've done has uh, spurred somebody to greater heights. But um, on the other hand. Uh, I don't want to flatter myself by what you know appearing to be um, too important in anybody's life. I, I do this for me, not really for anybody else. Yeah. Well, we know that you're playing in Cincinnati on the 22nd. You have another date in Ohio, I believe, on the 20th. What can fans expect from this tour? What are they going to see? What are they going to hear? Well, it is it is um, somewhat uh, cynically named in a masterful marketing ploy as the as the seven decades tour that doesn't mean that we've been on the road for 70 years it just means that during the the latter part of the 60s through the 70s 80s 90s etc up to today we we have released uh, or recorded music in every in each of those decades and we play something from each of the decades in our concert tour the, the, clearly you know there, there are certain songs that we play that are amongst what i call the heavy hitters the ones that most jethro tell fans are very familiar with then, you know, we try and throw in a few that uh, they will have heard and maybe half recognized, but not really so familiar with. And then for those who are um, aging souls um, without the bladder control that they had when they were teenagers, we try and include a couple of songs that, you know, offer them the opportunity for a quick toilet break. Okay. 
Ian Anderson, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Again, Ian with Jethro Tall, and we'll get some more information on our website if you are interested in learning some more. Thank you so much. Great to talk with him across.